everybody, Anne here. It is going to be another beautiful sunny day today, so I'm going to try and get as much done as I possibly can. I, uh, I yeah, I'm going to process some more wood. I'm not going to show you me doing it um, because that's boring, but I'll show you what I got done. And those baby chicks, they were not comfortable last night, so I had to do some things. So I'm going to do some more things for them today. Um, and uh, well, just whatever I can get done. It is a beautiful day today. It's going to be 81. I think it's probably 81 right now. So I decided to bring the baby chicks out. I just brought this cage that I had in the van because I'm not going to be using it in the van for a while yet and use the top two that Miss Donna gave me. Um, she gave me the whole cage like I told you yesterday. Uh, not the t-shirt. That's mine. I just put it over there to give them a little extra shade if they want it. And they are all having the absolute time of their life out here. Um, last night, I noticed that they could not get settled in the brooder box. You know how I had that heat mat underneath and the box on top? Well, I stuck my hand in there, and it's just too hot. So I took a box out completely altogether and just let them decide if they wanted to be on the heat mat. Fine. If not, they're getting more and more feathers. So it wasn't uh, too bad last night. I mean, it was like... Uh, I think about 70 degrees inside the cabin. Um, outside, I think it was, I don't know, high 50s. But, um, so they're doing good. They're able to withstand a little bit more um, temperature drop, but they're not ready to go in the van yet. So, until then, on nice days, I'm going to bring them outside and let them play around in this yard. And I love this thing because I can open it and I can step in. So that's going to make things really super easy for me. And just look. Look at how big they're getting. They have grown so much. Yeah, you know what? I may call that one Rocky. <laughs> like the other one. Because I'm, I have a feeling that's a rooster. I have a feeling I have several roosters in this batch of chickens. And Patty and somebody else is underneath. They're taking a dust bath. That's what they've been doing for the last 20 minutes or so. But, uh, yeah, they're just... See, they're having a good time. Oh yeah, that one that looks like torch. I'm gonna call that one flame. Uh, a big old comb. Pretty sure it's a rooster. I think I got. I think Rocky's a rooster. <laughs> Rocky too. I'm gonna call him Rocky because I like that name. And um, I don't know. There may be several roosters. Patty may be the only hen out of this whole group. But I love them. Yeah, she's under there still taking a dust bath. This is great. Thank you, Donna. A couple of you had made mention about how I was doing things um, when I was sawing the log that was out there in my woods that it was partially fallen. If you remember, the tree was already on a slant. So it was already on a slant. And the issue was that I've never had an issue with a, you know, an acceptable diameter log pinching the, the blade. Um, because I'm able to saw through it. The issue that I had yesterday was that the diameter of the tree had was too big for this for this saw. So I really had to kind of work around that. And so it, it got down to the bottom, and like I said, this collapsed on uh, onto it, and it wouldn't have mattered what I did. That was going to happen because the log was too big for this bow saw. Um, you can see I'm almost through this one and it's not pinching. I can pull that blade completely out and I'll be able to saw through that no problems. Um, so that wasn't the issue. And when I have it on a slant, like Owen said, you suggested, you made some great suggestions, Owen. Um, keeping it on a slant, yes, that def definitely works. Um, and when you're out there, you know, in the woods, you don't always have a bunch of equipment and supports and whatever, so you just kind of do what you got to do. Luckily for me, that tree that was out in the woods was already on a slant, but the issue wasn't that it wasn't supported underneath. The issue was that the I was trying to saw down something that was too big for this bow saw, but Owen made another suggestion, and I'm going to see if I can implement that later. See that? Just like Owen said, the tree falls away, doesn't pinch if you've got it on a slant. Look at this big old funny shaped log and it split right through it. I got all three, was it three of those big logs? Three or four? Whatever was left here from yesterday, they are all sawed up and they are split and stacked up. <laughs> 
This was only down to here, and this was completely empty, just to give you kind of some perspective. But I really wish I, eventually I'd like to build a frame so I won't have to, you know, do this. Um, so I can just stack it up even more. But um, I think, I think I'm going to try something else right now. Lovely. How on earth did they get out? Patty and Rocky flew the coop. So I'm going to have to figure out how they did that. <laughs> I wonder if they just squeezed through. Oh my goodness. I found it right here. The reason why I know is because I cornered Patty right here and I went like this and she hopped back in. So I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this right here. I think that'll do. Hopefully that's the only spot. I'm going to have a look around and make sure um, because I know that they can't fit through these things. So the good thing is is they stayed in the yard. So yeah, I think that'll be all right, don't you? What I think I'm going to try and do is take Owen's suggestion and hit this from a couple different angles. Um, I'm only going to be able to cut it as big as I'm able to get into the wagon. So I think I'm going to try the first cut right here, right underneath this knot thingy. And I'm going to have to stand over on the other side because when it comes down, it's going to go this way. So I'm going to try and saw from this way first and then from that way second and just see if I'm able to do it. I did it. And nope, the bow saw didn't get pinched. It's laying over there. I kind of cheated because I knew I had got it almost all the way through on all sides. So I just basically kind of jumped up on top of it and practically body slammed it <laughs> and it broke. And see, it's still up there, but it's barely up there. So the next cut, I'm not going to do it today because I'm exhausted. I think, mm, I think it's going to have to be up here. And uh, yeah, I'll be definitely standing behind the tree. Uh, when it gets ready to fall so it won't fall on me. I think this is good enough for today I've got this whole path completely cleared once I get this little piece up in the in the wagon um, But this is kind of dangling precariously So definitely children should not be playing near this um, Because as I was sawing what helped me is the log rotated a little bit and it's not steady at all so but at least I got this piece done so I'm going to take it back to the tiny house that's a pretty big log look at that Look. <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna carry it back to the tiny house I'm not gonna try and cut this up today I'm exhausted I think I've done enough for today. I think I'm going to need a bigger tarp, don't you? Look at that. Look at that. Look at how tall it's gotten. I'm pretty gosh darn proud of myself. Just look at my beautiful torch. Oh, that's going to be a gorgeous rooster. Yeah, that's a rooster too. And that's Big Daddy. And the two hens. So what's going to happen is the two hens are going to come out of here and this is going to become the bachelor pad like Jeff at Bubblehead Homestead. Um, because I'm pretty sure all but Patty are roosters in that young brood behind me. So when they get old enough, they're going to come in here. This gorgeous guy here. Oh, I need to change your water. Um, is going to go in with the Easter eggers. I'm thinking Patty will go in with the Easter eggers and these two hens over there, well, wherever they are, they're going to go with Romeo. Some days, you know what, I just feel like Wonder Woman, <laughs> I'm woman, hear me roar. Yeah, well, uh, I got a lot done, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I'm a little worried about Roxy. She hasn't laid an egg in a couple of days, and it's like quarter to four right now. Still no egg from her, so I let them all, all out free-ranging. I'm kind of making a habit of not letting them out to free range unless the hens have laid eggs. Miss Coco never disappoints. Um, of course, Miss Pris hasn't started laying again yet, but uh, this has been a great day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.